leaders, we pray that God's spirit will be with them. Grant them the wisdom to teach us, to inform us that we we'll know how to take care of ourselves and our families. We ask for these blessings in the name of thy son Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <coughs> All right, let's turn to the line. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have in our midst the president of Eyes Global, Mr. Paul. Let's give him a hand on the road. Thank you. In our midst today, we have the main man who has been in the industry for many, many decades, and he's been one of the top, I would say, Top hundred um, earners in the networking industry. Right here with us again is the <coughs> most influential and a top rank member on Ice Global platform, Mr. Travis. Accompanying him is our brother here, Mike, and he's been one of the greatest leaders also in the IX family. Starting this session, we would love to give us the opportunity to know who Namakuto is, and uh, that will be brief, okay? I've been in the network industry since 2006. I happen to be given the privilege to work with international companies, and it's been a roller coaster. Um, the industry hasn't been, um, I would say, um, the high level of expectation within the industry <coughs> has not been met yet for me. That's how I see it, okay? Because most of the companies that I've seen right from 2006, currently are nowhere to be found, okay? And this is as a result of the challenges within the growth of the community that we try to build within the industry. I will say that my experience, again, got me into the crypto um, innovation, which saw us seeing the rise of Bitcoin right from 2009 at no value to $70,000 worth of one Bitcoin in 2021. Just to let us know, I got an opportunity to work with a Canadian company and this company um, gave me the platform to give my fellow brothers and sisters within the African continent the privilege to accumulate enough Bitcoin before it even went up 0.1 cent. But this privilege, as, as, as a matter of fact, I didn't know much about the crypto industry and even though that was the case, I tried to do something. So I had to travel out, come back to two years and I realized the impact has already taken place. So I told myself, well, maybe I've missed out. Notwithstanding, I didn't give up on myself. I tried to involve a few influential people in the country, like Jess Heidi. Um, she, she happens to be the board of director of um, Angle Gold by then. And this was so because she understood the crypto, I mean, I would say the um, financial industry. So just to let you know, I missed out. And that has been the challenge with most of us. But again, today we have an opportunity that is not built by a community. We have an opportunity in the crypto phase that is actually supported by a real world asset, a real world commodity. And for which reason we are all assembled here today to get to know what it's all about. I wouldn't want to take much time. I'll have the privilege to engage us again, but inviting us, inviting to this platform now is our main man, 
charters who would engage us to give us a much clearer view of what this <coughs> platform is offering each and every one of us. Let's give us a hand. to be able to, to speak with you. I've had a chance to meet many of you either on Zoom or uh, over the course of the last week. And I wanna thank you for taking the time to come here today. We know that it's, it's a, a lot to be able to get here. How far did you come from? Who, who, give me an idea, how, far did it, how long did it take you to get here? Who came from more than two hours away? Raise your hand if you came from more than two hours away. Who came from more than, let's say, four hours away? Who came more than eight hours away? Who came wow. 12 hours? I guess came a long time. Anybody 24 hours or more to be here? <laughs> Te I did. Technically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I want to talk to you today about substance, not hype. I want to talk to you about tangibility over speculation. I'm willing to bet that Ghana has had companies that have come into this country and made you promise after promise after promise that they don't keep. Am I right? Yeah. Are you tired of it? Yeah. Are you ready for a company to actually do what they say they're going to do? Yes. <laughs> Are you really ready for a company to do what they say they're going to do? Yes. In this country? Yes. I want to share a little story with you that brings us to where we are today. So the owners of Debbox, Jason and Jake Anderson, started out many, many years ago, in fact, 11 years ago, mining this little coin called Bitcoin. They were mining it for less than $100 a coin. Wouldn't it have been great to get involved about that time? I remember the first time somebody called me about Bitcoin, they said, listen, there's this new digital currency, you've got to buy it. I says, okay, digital currency, it sounds exciting. He says, I said, how much is it? He says, it's $300 per coin. It's called Bitcoin, and I said, okay, well, how does it work? Like, do they send me a silver coin? Do they send me a gold coin? He goes, no, 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 it's digital. You can't see it, you can't hold it, you can't touch it. I said, okay, so, so where do I spend it? How do I spend it? He says, oh, you can't really spend it anywhere. I says, okay, and, and, and how do I get it? He says, well, you gotta find somebody that's selling it. I said, okay, wait a second. So you're telling me you want me to spend $300 on some money that I can't see, that I can't hold, that I can't spend, and I gotta go find somebody to sell it, to, 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 to even buy it. And he, and he says, yeah, I says, and I'm, I'm so sorry, but I think you're being scammed. <laughs> I'm not interested in your Bitcoin. And then I heard a little later that it went to $1,300 a coin, and I thought, oh my gosh, I missed out on a huge opportunity. Now I'm definitely not going to buy it. And then it went up again, and it went up again, and it went up again. And it's truly, digital currency has changed the world that we live in. Uh, so Jason and Jake Anderson started mining Bitcoin when it was under $100 a coin. They decided to come over to Ghana and get involved in the mining business. They started mining gold and they started mining oil. They started mining a number of, of different commodities. And about six years ago, they were introduced to a technology that has the ability to be able to scan the earth and identify oil and other commodities in the ground, but not just find them. They can literally pinpoint it to within six centimeters in the ground. Now, a technology like that, as you know, is very valuable. Why? Because companies have been coming in here and destroying your land for decades. Strip mining it, leaving it looking terrible. Am I right? Yeah. So they realized that with a technology like this, they would no longer have to displace entire villages to go in that have lived there for hundreds of years, that they have the ability to be able to help these exploratory <coughs> companies find the gold, find the oil precisely. So they introduced it to a very small oil company at first, and they said, look, you know, we'll prove ourselves to you. All we want is royalties on anything that we find. Mm -hmm. So they started off looking in the United mm -hmm. States at first, and they found oil in Nevada. How many of you know Las Vegas or have heard of Las Vegas before, right? They found oil in Nevada. They drilled there. There was a well there that was drilled in the 50s and 60s, and they thought that it had gone dry. But with this scan technology, it revealed a chamber that had over 400 million barrels of oil, enough to extract 5,500 barrels per day for the next 10 years. 
Since that time, they've started to partner with other companies, larger exploratory companies, and they found 16 new targets in Nebraska. They found dozens over in Texas. They've started to now expand here to Ghana, where they have helped find gold. They have helped find iron. How many of you recently in the news saw that there was a huge iron find here? It's been all over the news. Did anybody hear anything about that? That was us. Wow. Yeah. Your government hired us to help them find that iron. So we found this technology. They, they pioneered this technology. And since that time, you know, they, they, they've been huge fans of cryptocurrency. But let's face it, the cryptocurrency industry has largely been built on meme coins, pump and dump coins, ICOs that have no intrinsic value whatsoever. You've got all these different coins. Let me tell you something. A true asset should not lose 80% of its value because Elon Musk tweets about it. Yes. Am I right? No. no. Shit. Whoa. A lot of these coins have no purpose. They're hiring influencers. They're hiring celebrities to go up and pump these coins up. They become popular. Everybody buys. And then what happens? They dump it. So these guys said, you know, we've got these different commodities. We have the ability to be able to find them. What if we were to come out with a cryptocurrency, a digital currency that's actually backed by the oil, that's backed by the gold, that's backed by the iron? Or the carbon, or the helium. Whoa, come on. Yeah. I may or may not have just said some hints there. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. What if we came out with a coin that was backed by these different commodities that are in high demand? You know, the US dollar used to be backed by gold. The gold standard. Richard Nixon removed it in 1972. What happened to the value since that time? It's lost 86% of its value. You know, I've always known that the moment that somebody tokenizes a commodity, fortunes would be made. What do I mean by that? I'm talking about taking the cryptocurrency and backing it by gold, the same way that the dollar used to be back. Now you've got, now you've got something tangible. You've got something real. So they decided to introduce a coin called Black Gold in November of last year, one year ago. That coin went up over 110,000%. created over 1,007 figure portfolio earners. One millionaire every three days in their ecosystem. Since that time, they've introduced a half a dozen other projects. Projects like Nat G, natural gas. Where there's oil, there's often natural gas. They've introduced projects like aluminum. We have partnered with one of the, lar the largest bauxite mining company here in Ghana, it is supporting and backing our aluminum token that just came out about 90 days ago. Our projects now help employ over 10,000 people here in Ghana. So where you have a lot of companies that come in and they're extracting your guys' precious commodities, we're coming here and we're wanting to put jobs in place. We're wanting to save the land. You know, I was talking to someone the other day, who, who was it? It was telling me that their grandmother, no, it was you, right? Who's, 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 your grandmother lost her farm, her cocoa farm. Yes, uh, actually, my grandmother, hello? My grandmother lost her cocoa farm as a result of the Chinese um, getting to discover gold on the farmland, okay? And um, it was interesting to know that the, the rate at which they destroyed a 12 year farm, okay, farm that has been um, produced over 12 years, um, was just destroyed within a single day. Just because they want to um, discover gold on the farmland. Well now, what if there was a technology that didn't have to uproot those villages, that can literally go directly underneath them and they don't even know that it's there. It doesn't displace them, doesn't cause any damage to the land. Wow. 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 We met with the foreign minister of Ghana this morning at our hotel. He was there to announce their partnership with Debox. We were just given the only and first land and sea 
license to mine in this country to date right now. Ooh. So, wouldn't it be great if there was this opportunity, there was this company that you could go out and you could offer these licenses? That you could go out and you could give people an opportunity to be able to own a share in what's happening in your country. That is what IX Global is all about. So what's happened is, is Debtbox is an entirely different company. I want this is very important. There is an entire line of separation between Debtbox and between IX Global. Why is that important? Because there have been companies in the cryptocurrency industry that said they were mining, but the money coming in the door from the license sales was just being calculated on a spreadsheet and then it was being used to pay out. You know what that's called? It's called a Ponzi scheme. So we have a line of separation, the money coming in, we all, IX Global is, is the marketing arm for Debbox. That's all we, all we do is we sell hardware and we sell software. We do not offer guarantees, we do not offer returns. We're not in the ROI business, I'm not here to tell you that we promise you 3% a week or 5% a week, you know why? Because that's illegal. What we do is we sell hardware and software that allows you to be able to mine digital currency projects that are backed by real world commodities that are in high demand. 4% of the population currently owns a cryptocurrency wallet. 4%. It's a pretty big number. Do you realize that in the next 12 to 18 months, that's projected to go to 10%? I've always, a success formula that I've always subscribed to is to figure out where people are going and get there faster. But it's not enough to just get there faster. What if you can provide real world solutions to some of the biggest problems? That is where wealth is created. It's just like Debtbox is providing solutions that are adding meaningful jobs and ultimately preserving the land here. They're solving major problems and that's why they're flourishing. Well, what if we can do that inside of the cryptocurrency space? So I find myself asking myself, okay, if we're gonna go from 4% to 10%, what is going to be the catalyst? What's going to be the thing that, that really drives that number forward? Well, to me, do you think that companies are going to want, or people that are coming into the cryptocurrency space are going to want meme coins, pump and dumps, or are they going to want substance and tangibility? They're going to want substance. They're going to want something solid. What is going to the last bull run? that we had was driven by all of these different meme coins, coins that have dogs and foxes on them. They have no purpose, no value. The next bull run is gonna be driven by substance. It's gonna be driven by tangibility. Debtbox is raising the bar in the entire cryptocurrency space. We are the first ecosystem in the entire world that is providing this type of opportunity in the cryptocurrency space. <laughs> to 10%, what's going to be the catalyst? The catalyst is going to be a company that comes in that gives people that have been kind of nervous about getting into cryptocurrency. Why? Because it's so volatile. Because of these rug pulls. And they say, well, wait a second. I'm a little more comfortable getting involved now because this is backed by oil. Hey, is the demand for oil going to go away anytime soon? No. Is the demand for natural gas going to go away anytime soon? No. no. Of course not. So, what we're doing is, is we're paving the way. We're raising the bar in the cryptocurrency space. We are focused, you know, the biggest, I've been here for a week. I've never sweated so much in my life. No, excuse me. <laughs> I've been here for a week. The biggest thing that I, I'm taking away is I came here because of this amazing opportunity. And I was excited to come share that opportunity with, with, with everyone here. But when I started going out to these different villages, and I started seeing um, how Deadbox was making a difference in these people's lives, you know, it's, it's one of those things where they always say, it's one thing to be in, in a network marketing company, but it, the amazing stuff happens when it, when it gets inside of you. I am so proud to be part of this company. We were in a village in to Toka, Takarati. Takarati. We were in a village, we went to see a lot of the farms that support our grow token. 
And while there, we wanted to go um, give the respects, pay the respects to the chief. So the chief agreed to meet with four of our top leaders, and they went in and he said this to them. Through his, you know, the, the person that was translating, he said, you guys are doing such good here. I want to give you more land. I want you guys to continue to do what you're doing here. Watching those faces of those children running around the village and knowing that we're making a difference here. Guys, I'm telling you, this isn't about a company that's coming into Ghana to take away, to make you promises. We're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes. We're going through tremendous growth. Do you know that IX Global did 20 million in sales last year? Last year. It gets better. <laughs> we're over 100, Paul, where are we at today? About 165 million this wow. year. Wow. Yeah. One year. We're doing a million dollars a day right now. We are the, in fact, we're doing more than a million dollars a day. Guys, we are the fastest growing direct sales company Whoa. in the entire industry. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. And here's the thing this is the first oh, meeting that we have done in all of Ghana. This oh, is it. This is the first. Wow. We're just getting started, guys. Timing is everything in business. Would you rather be first or last? You guys have an opportunity here. I want you to pull out your phones, and I'm going to wrap up here, but I want you to pull out your phones for a moment for me, and I want everybody to stand up. Everybody stand up. All right, I want you to pull out your phone, and I want you to take a selfie. I want you to look at yourself. I want you to take a selfie. Take a picture, okay? Take a, take a picture. Here's why. Because I want you to remember that this is the day that your life changed. I want you to remember yes. that this day is a day that you made a commitment to yourself. Today is the day. Repeat after me. Today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day that you made a commitment and a decision to change your life and your family's life forever. Now we made a decision to change your life forever. That's what this is. And I want you to remember it. I want you to hold that picture. And I want you to look at it every single day because today I want you to make a promise to yourself that you will not let this opportunity pass you. I will not let this opportunity pass me. Guys, this opportunity has the ability to change so many lives, and you are here at the very beginning. This, this opportunity has the ability to change so many lives. Yes. And you're here at and the beginning. And you're happy to be here today. Yes. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for welcoming me to your beautiful country. I cannot wait to come back, and I'm so excited for the additional information that you are going to hear today. I want to thank all of the organizers, Nada, and all of the other leaders for putting this on. We're grateful for welcoming us to our country. With that, I'm going to you. Wow, All right, guys, let's do it. this. 